Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the seventh episode of Hidamari Sketch. Last episode was a lot of fun because we all kind of had some fun in the sun. Some were kind of, some were kind of activities, right? So always a good time. Now let's jump into episode seven and see what we decide to do today. Maybe we'll involve Sensei. That could be fun, right? She needs more screen time. But uh, yeah, let's jump on in. Three, two, one, play. Three, two, one. They do its own countdown. I feel like we skipped some numbers there. I don't know how that works. Yes, I know that feeling all too well. The bed, I want to stay there forever. The alarm clock just, just won't let me. Yeah, but to say, not exactly the most exciting weather. No pool parties today. But, myself to go out there nonetheless. I feel like there are better colors to choose, but... Yeah, the pool stuff. Was the last episode or the episode before that had the uh, Miyako like principal impression? <laughs> because yeah, that really was amazing. Hero is the hero we need. Yeah, could you imagine Sensei in the pool, you know? <laughs> I bet he's lecturing about running, running in the halls. The drying agent in the storm. <laughs> Actually, read that as dying agent, which is a very different sentence. I don't think that's true. I think you might be senile, sir. <laughs> well, I mean, he's dressed for it, I guess. But like, yeah, the weather is not. The weather really is not matching. <laughs> <clears throat> I see. Does that say Soda Mimi Hour? What does that even mean? I know Soda is Sky and Mimi is Ear. I don't know. Yeah, it is, that is kind of the worst. We need to be a higher budget school. <laughs> well, I'm sure we could be professor for something else. <laughs> I mean, not with that attitude. <laughs> I mean, the rain probably would have that effect on you, yeah. Staff room. We're gonna sneak a peek, really. Oh no, what did she see? Kintaro. What? Can you elaborate? I don't think she did. <laughs> I guess that is more important. <laughs> Just. Just imagine how confused I must be. How confused I am. I, mean, I still don't really see. I didn't see what she saw. And she never really, you know, 
elaborated, so... <laughs> really. As well, someone's confidence, Natsume. <laughs> Five years, that is pretty good track record, no pun intended. Yeah, is she like a rival of yours? <laughs> What, were you sick or something? <laughs> Let me in, coach. I, I, I can do it. Still not great weather, though. I don't think I've ever seen an anime have a school festival like, or athletic festival like this in such cloudy weather. Like windy, cloudy weather. I think this might be the first time I've ever seen that. <laughs> Sensei, no! Oof. Well, she's probably fine. <laughs> the wind is now my ally. That's how it works. <laughs> Good thing the earth is round, huh? I wish I could enjoy life half as much as Miyako does. Oof. <laughs> okay, that was kind of me. I didn't even start the festival yet. Yeah, you're already hurting poor Yuno in the rain again. This is just not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Miyako. <laughs> Yeah, we will win all of the sportsmanships. Freaking typhoon out here. Just... That would really suck, because you would definitely get wet. <laughs> it does have some kind of effect on you, yeah. Like, it's still special in a way, right? So... Even if it's not exactly good. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully your place is okay. Okay, the bucket's not completely full. Okay. Can I substitute it out? I mean, yeah, she's she's right. <laughs> Our smart girl. Can we just like fix the roof? I mean, I mean, anything's possible. Yeah, this is what kids did before social media and smartphones and all that. Just sat around a room. <laughs> that's a great tradition. Oh, that's live action pizza. <laughs> it was. Now it's just about gone. Hey, if nobody's gonna eat that last slice, I'll take it. Probably not that fast. I. <sighs> Guys, be quiet. I'm trying to listen to this. Don't ask me about Japanese geography. <laughs> I 
I know, right? The typhoons are so inconvenient. <laughs> oh boy, 50%. <laughs> Don't blame you, know. Okay. What does what that have to do with anything? <coughs> okay, I mean, people would generally use a cup or something, but sure. <laughs> what are you going to do, mouth-to-mouth -mouth transfer it? I'd be okay with that. That's not good. Yeah, I don't want to accidentally kick over the bucket. That's probably the biggest concern. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, you gotta move it, Miyako. Yeah, that's kind of how fires work. <laughs> Ouch. I guess we could do that. <laughs> that's kind of messed up. Passing the buck. Probably not. I. <laughs> Miyako, the scientist over here. Let's do an experiment and find out. <laughs> I just don't see how it could possibly get set on fire after getting wet. It's just a weird thing to me to even suggest, but. I guess we'll see. <laughs> well, no fire. And Natsume looks so just smug over there. Data Mark, yeah. I sure hope so. <laughs> Seriously, what would we do without you, hero? Yes, I was thinking the same thing. <coughs> like, I'm not a good girl. But I guess we gotta go in the end anyway. Well, of course, you'd usually just go to the convenience store, yeah. Hey, Pepto Bismol. Some live action food. Can we get some chocolate while we're here? It's like a kid and a mother going to the store together. Can we get this too? Speaking of a kid and her mother. We always need sugar. What are you saying?
What the heck? What are you looking at? Uh, good, good. Not sure what that is. Is it chocolate? I mean, I figured it was some kind of snack. <laughs> Apparently, if it ain't white, it ain't right in this show. That's not too bad. <sighs> yeah, apparently Miyako. <laughs> yeah. Sun. I guess it's something. Or you're getting a win, a hot spring trip. I got a fish. Aren't you proud of me? Yo. Who is she? <laughs> Clearly an adult, but you know. <laughs> She's not gonna go outside during a typhoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't be silly. Yeah, besides from where you threw one of those thingies outside. That is how it works. <laughs> that would be cool to do, but kind of hard. Let's do it. Also, I think we lost someone. Oh. What about the box cutter? Oh, uh, the, uh, what's the name for it? In a note, just under a bunch of hairy balls. <clears throat> Blue mother. That that would be something, yeah. A hammer. <laughs> better better suggestion. Let's put those in complete sentence. <laughs> like a baseball. Okay, okay. Are you implying you want some? That's my fish. You can't give away my fish. I want it. <laughs> my fish. I had to get her something to get her to leave. <laughs> I think that's what they meant. I guess Yuna didn't know that either. I mean, I kind of assumed that's what it was, but yeah. One on one. Don't hurt yourself. She's such a Majime character. Yeah, do we have time for for that? I almost hit the pause button. Would not have been good. Okay. 
Okay, it's all fine. What? <laughs> Not that I'm salty about it or anything. Yeah, how much have you cut? Oh, pfft, yeah. That's that was a waste. Oh, we're going back to the staff room? The whole Kientaro thing? Are we going to elaborate on that now? Okay. You'll get it tomorrow. <sighs> Mitsubishi rice cooker. Chestnut rice, which I never had, but I kind of want to. Itadakimasu. Oh. Already have some on your face, you know. <laughs> There's a reason why you can't just wait until you finish it to get more, like. Cop in that bath bomb. Yeah, you know, really does not strike me as the athletic type, but just do your best. I bet. Just got out of the bath. Chestnut's moon. <laughs> okay. It's not made of cheese, it's made of chestnut after all. I'm glad we got that mystery settled. <laughs> I'm glad somebody pointed it out. Do your best. And God and Bada even. So that is gonna have to wait till the next episode, but it should be fun. We're definitely gonna win. Defeat that evil white team. And not so mad. Maybe she's not feeling well again. For the puff. I don't think so. Okay. Well, that uh, that was the seventh yeah episode of Yidamari Sketch. Another good episode. Now this episode, we do have we do we have the setup for the athletic festival, right? Sports festival, whatever you want to call it. But the problem is the weather. The weather is a big problem. It's all cloudy and rainy. And we at first like okay, we'll we'll just wait for it to rain to settle down, and it did. And then we thought we were gonna do it, but then you know the rain came back, and it's like okay, guys, let's just do it later. You know, kind of what it came down to. 
but just quite unfortunate because yeah they just want to have their fun school for, you know sports festival they can't do it because of the weather you know we have Saya who's all hyped up to do well because she couldn't do well last year and you know the white team is getting more and more cocky you know not enough and all that so we gotta gotta vanquish them but it's gonna have to wait unfortunately but let's see but yeah not too much more to say about about the episode aside from we met the owner Although, you know, I guess, didn't quite do her properly greeting that she wanted to do. We got some chestnuts, grocery shopping. You know, defending the, defending Miyako's place against the leak as best we can. Doing some scientific experiments in the rain. But, uh, but yeah, also the moon is the chestnut. That was a, that was a pretty big reveal, pretty big plot twist. So, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.